Um, a lot of people are just joining in now, obviously, after the game's finished to tune in. Chelsea have just lost 1-0 to Liverpool in extra time to a Van Dijk header. It's an absolute shambles. Chelsea Football Club at Wembley are just not the team they used to be. It's been absolutely abysmal. Pochettino is a disgrace. His substitutions have cost Chelsea Football Club in this match massively today. We're questioning the substitutions again. For me, there is absolutely no reason that he's made some of those substitutions. I cannot work it out. I don't understand the logic behind them. I don't understand the timing behind them. Players like Sterling, one of our most experienced players on that pitch. Yes, he's been slated at times, but there was no one better on the bench to come on than Sterling. Mudrick's come on for, for Conor Gallagher. What are you doing? Mudrick doesn't care. Mudrick's awful. Mudrick made one sprint today and one pass and potentially a shot, I think. That was it. He was he awful. He didn't though. track back. Harvey Elliott nearly scored off the back of him. It's a joke. Sack Poch. If you want any success, Todd Bowley, sack him now. It's a joke. What I've seen today is too far. I know I said that it probably won't change the future, but in all seriousness... I haven't seen enough from Pochettino today to give me any confidence. The players fought for the win today, not Pochettino. Every time we saw the camera go to Poch, he looked inactive. He looked like he didn't care. He looked like he didn't know what to do. I'm fed up with seeing a team with absolutely no idea of how to play football. We'd set up and he goes, I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to hope for the best. I'm, I'm hoping that we are able to create something in a game that's open. I hope my players can make something magically happen. There was a super chat a little bit more time ago that said, I'm just trying to find it now. It was uh, Gunzu said, honestly, I don't see Chelsea winning a trophy for five years. Now, five years is a long time. And thank you very much for the super chat. But what I will say is, I don't disagree the way the club's being run at the moment, the recruitment that's happening has been a joke on the whole for a lot of players. We spent 300 million and we got a midfield that can't dominate Liverpool's C team, can't dominate Liverpool's kids. It's an absolute shambles that that's ever, ever the case when you spend that amount of money. There is no reason that if you spend a billion pounds, your team realistically shouldn't be lifting the League Cup at Wembley against Liverpool's C team. We've been shocking. Pochettino's tactics are are ludicrously bad. We are we have a manager in charge that is happy to not control a game, that is happy to kind of let it go, let's see what happens, is willing to bring off his best players at the wrong time in games. We needed to win. I think the guy made the substitutions like we were 1-0 up. It's crazy. Yeah, he wasn't defending and he wasn't making his substitutions to hold on to a lead, but he was bringing on players that were on it for the counter-attack when we were actually in a position where we could have gone for the win. It's, it's ridiculous. It's an absolute joke. Gary Neville said billionaire bottle jobs. Yeah, billionaire bottle jobs. That's what Chelsea are going to be called now. Mm. It's a joke. We're the next Man United football club. You're never winning the league, says Harry's physique. Thank you very much for the super chat. But look, I'll take being Man United. Mm. Man United are better than Chelsea at the moment. Obviously, Chelsea are getting to finals, which is good. But if you turn up like that, it's pointless. Mm. Another season without Europe. I cannot understand how Chelsea Football Club are being run at the moment. I can't understand the recruitment. I can't understand the money that's been spent. And I, most importantly, cannot understand what the manager is trying to get this group of players to be or to do on a football pitch. And that's my biggest concern. That is where I'm so, so struggling with Chelsea right now is because the manager is clueless. Mm -hmm. And he has to go. Pochettino is a joke. An absolute joke. Enzo Fernandez. Let's talk about him today. We spent over a hundred million on Enzo Fernandez. He's been pretty poor today. Pretty poor for that amount of money. Forget the price tag. You could have spent 40 million on him. He hasn't been good enough. He hasn't been good enough. That's a World Cup winner that can't even dominate Liverpool's C team. Liverpool had players on today that did way more than that. Way more than that. I don't know what Chelsea fans were like today, but I bet they're absolutely livid. I couldn't hear because I didn't have sound on. But honestly, there should be booze. There should be disappointment at Pochettino. And then 100% should be Poch out movements starting from Leeds midweek. 
Because after 120 minutes of Chelsea against Liverpool, I've got zero confidence going into Leeds. Leeds. It's a joke. Leeds are going to be so up for this game against Chelsea because they hate Chelsea. Chelsea hate Leeds. Well, let me tell you something. This squad under Pochettino doesn't understand what rivalries mean. They don't understand that because no one's educating them because the club's been ripped top to bottom. Anyone that understood anything at Chelsea isn't there anymore. It's a joke. Chelsea Football Club is in such a state. I'm, I'm fed up with what I'm seeing. Of course I am. Of course every Chelsea fan is. But if we had something to believe in, I'd back it. That the manager's not giving anyone any reason to believe. And I'm watching pictures here of Liverpool walking down or walking through the stairs at Wembley with smiles on their faces. And half of the players I don't even recognise. I don't know who they are. And Chelsea's billionaire bottle jobs have lost. Honestly, the board are a joke. The board are a shambles. Chelsea Football Club are being run atrociously bad right now. And I, I just cannot fathom a way out of this with Pochettino as the manager. And I'm fed up seeing people in the comments saying, give Poch time. This is enough time. This is enough time. We have lost 1-0 to Liverpool at Wembley, and for the last half an hour, his substitutions have cost us the game. Leeds have a good chance coming to Stamford Bridge, and they're a championship side. Chelsea Football Club are in a dire, dire situation right now. And you see that lineup today, there is absolutely a 100% swing of the momentum for who could have won this game. When Liverpool don't have the likes of Salah, when Liverpool don't have the likes of Darwin Nunes, when Liverpool don't have the likes of Saboslai, they don't have their goalkeeper, the best goalkeeper in the world, not in goal, and we can't even beat them. we got C-team players, players that have never played for Liverpool before. The trophy's just being lifted now. It's a joke. The confetti's actually gold and green, which is like United colours, which is crazy. But still, United should... Uh, sorry, not United. I'm reading the chat. People are talking about United. The one name I'm seeing in the chat time and time again is Jose Mourinho. And I tell you what, say what you want about Jose and say his tactics are outdated. Jose Mourinho doesn't let that happen today. Doesn't let that happen. Jose Mourinho's team win that final. Pochettino's played four, tro four finals. Lost everyone bar one for PSG potentially. It's a joke. Every single game the geezer plays against Pochettino, he gets whooped. It's a shambles. Pochettino is not on the level of the managers that Chelsea Football Club should be hiring. And this squad, you know, I'll actually tell you right now, this squad is better, is way better than what this suggests. Way better. And for that reason, I am Pochettino out and I fully believe... That if you think Pochettino is the right manager for Chelsea Football Club, then you are deluded. You are delusional. You're letting your standards drop. Chelsea Football Club win trophies. We don't lose three trophies or three finals in a row to Liverpool at Wembley. I know that actually is a different, a potentially different era as well, but it doesn't happen. We should have put it right today. When does this squad ever learn how to become winners when right from the very top of the club and the manager, there's no winning mentality. Sat the manager, and then if it doesn't change, if the manager comes in and we bring in a winner, then we can look further than that because we've got eight years of hell with this board and they're not going anywhere. But they need to start making some correct decisions. They've spent a billion pounds. They're getting 0% returns on their assets. Every single player is actually in negative value since they signed them. Bath three, I'd say. Cole Palmer's probably gone up in value. It's a shambles. When do you start questioning the recruitment? You've given them a billion pound credit card and they've come back from Primark. It's a joke. Could have gone Harrods. Could have gone Harrods with a billion pounds. Could have rocked up to Real Madrid. Could have rocked up to City and said, you want 500 mil for Haaland? We'll pay it. No. They spent a billion pounds on players that have only just learned how to tie their shoes. It's a shambles. Sack Poch.